Hi guys, welcome back. I know it's literally been forever since I made a radiation therapy student related video, but I decided to do one now that I'm in clinical. So every morning usually starts at 6.30 because I'm clinical every day at 7.30. So honestly, 6.30 is kind of pushing it, but I'm usually able to get a ride to the LRT station and then it's pretty quick from there. This is me just getting ready in the morning. I decided to start vlogging, I guess, my clinical and just my education in general because, I don't know, I'm trying to make my life more interesting. It was still like minus 30 to 40 this week, so it was super cold. So honestly, walking to the cancer center is the hardest part of my day. I made it. But check out the fit. Yeah. I'm also not allowed to bring my phone to clinical, but I do use my iPad to take notes for when we do like patient cases and whatnot. So, um, I just don't want to compromise any patient information when I record, so here you can watch me pretend to clickety-clack on the keyboard. At 10.30, I usually take my first break with my classmate, so we'll talk about any interesting patient cases we saw, or we also use the time to prepare for any competency defenses we have. And this is usually when I eat breakfast as well, simply because I just- I don't have the time or energy to do it when I wake up in the morning. The reason why I chose today is because of the ocular brachy surgery that we're all going to observe today. So we're supposed to go in one at a time, but there's been so many like delays with seeds getting here and the surgery happening. So I think we might double up, but I thought it'd be really interesting not to like vlog it or anything, but just to like experience it. I don't know, but I actually made a vlog last week. I like filmed it and edited it and I was like, this is so boring. It was like five minutes long. There was no actual good footage from it. It's currently 11. I'm supposed to go observe the brachy surgery at 11.30. I just had a defense. Instead of having like midterms and finals for clinical, we have oh, like 70 competencies we have to get signed off from people on our unit. And then we have to defend it with our professor. They range from treatment delivery, patient care, CT sim and like dose symmetry. They just want to make sure that you're a well-rounded student in all areas, I guess. It's 11.38 and I was just informed that the ocular like sources, I guess they still haven't arrived or something. And I think them having students observe for today, maybe it'll just be too stressful. So <laughs> surgery um, observation today, which was the only interesting part of my day, but whatever. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna go see it in like two weeks or so instead. But for now, I'm gonna go back onto the unit and then, yeah. Yeah, that's why I she. Oh my gosh, this is completely raw. I was just gonna say. My mom's like, okay, I'll microwave it for a bit longer. But I'm like, these are, microwave is not gonna do anything for this. I would not do that. Even if I microwaved it for longer? Even if you microwave it, it sat like that in bed, raw. I wouldn't eat, you wouldn't eat any of this? No. This would be photo episodes. Oh my gosh, my name is literally not okay. So I got off clinical at 3 and then I decided to go to the library today just because I wanted to prepare for some defenses and I need this textbook because I don't have it at home and it's like $200 but the library has one. It's also the same textbook that I'm going to be using for my certification exam which is in a couple of months. We essentially get tested on like every single type of cancer who's most likely to get it. Like the screening test we do and imaging tests we do and then what the different modalities of treatment are available for them. But yeah, after two hours, I decided to close it up and go home, and then I took a nap. <laughs> it's almost nine, but I came home and showered. Yep, and then I took a long nap. I did some studying today, which is pretty good. 